What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. And look what we got. We got something from the happy place to take a look at. Um, yay, right? Happy Wednesday. It's time to get going to see what we have in this little package. And it's actually pretty cool. So it's Wednesday. How are you guys doing? What's up, cooks? Let's do this. So cooks, it's Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week. As you can tell, I'm tired this week. I'm exhausted. I've been working hard like a dog, right? And um, I'm, it's Wednesday and I'm already looking forward to the weekend, thinking about what I'm gonna cook. Yesterday we put up a video of some thin eggy crepes. They're absolutely fantastic. And we have another treat for those crepes. The next upload, we are doing a flambe. We are doing crepes Suzette out of those crepes, and it is absolutely fantastic. Eric ate the whole plate, didn't you? I don't know, it was yummy. He ate the whole plate. There's nothing left. <laughs> he just ate it all. So stay tuned for that. That will be up next after this video. Um, I hope you guys are having a more relaxful week than I am. Um, I'm a little on the tired side, so I'm going to try to get some rest this upcoming weekend and do a little cooking, right? Um, cooking is actually how I relax. Uh, so I don't know if everybody thinks that, but sometimes I just need a place that I have complete control over, and I have complete control over my own kitchen, right? So sometimes it's like the place for me to go, for me to just do my thing. So... I hope your kitchen is a place for you to go to do your thing as well. So we got a couple big cooking events coming up and it really helps to start thinking about what you're going to do and your plans. We've got holidays coming up galore here in the U S we have Thanksgiving. We have Christmas coming up. We have new years. This is the time to start thinking and planning. These are big, huge cooking events that we wait for all year long. And people say, why are you gonna start planning Thanksgiving before even Halloween? And it's because I'm a home cook. I don't cook like that all the time. So it's a big cooking event. And for any big event, you're gonna plan for it. So the best thing to do is to start now, right? And the way you can start now is making sure you have all your equipment together, getting your recipes and your equipment together, everything top notch so you can execute on those holidays without being, you know, oh, I wish I had this, oh, I wish I had that. So we can save for those things or we can start um, acquiring them one by one, right? <coughs> So the really nice people at Mudita sent me a little package with something that's very vital for the upcoming Christmas and Thanksgiving and all the other holiday seasons. Um, and we don't think about these things too much, but they're really important. And now is the time to get a really nice set. They sent a really nice set of stainless steel premium measuring cups and spoons. And what I really like about this set is that the measuring spoons are rectangle shaped, so they will fit into your spice jars. So let's get this open and take a look at these. I thought these were really interesting because I don't have any like rectangle um, measuring spoons. And I was like, this will be awesome. Wow, and they're long handled too. I really, really like that. Um, well, wow, let's see what's all that's in here. Um, cool. So there's a little 
contact information card about the brand. It's spelled M-U-D-I-T-A, but it's pronounced Mudita. So you ask, what does Mudita means? It means taking pleasure in other people's happiness. And that's perfect with the holidays coming up. It fits in line with the holidays. This actually would be a fantastic gift as well. And in someone's stocking, right? So look at this, this is really cool. So the very first thing I see is this measurement equivalence chart. And this is magnetic, so you can stick it on your um, refrigerator. So when we're doing things over the holidays, this will tell you how much is in each thing. So one cup is 16 tablespoons, 48 teaspoons, and eight fluid ounces. Um, this is really, really cool. This is really handy to have. Okay, so next up, we have a really nice set of measuring cups. And they even come with a little, um, if you like to link them together. So we have an eighth of a cup. Ooh, these are nice because they have this thing for your finger. I really, really like that. Eighth of a cup, quarter cup, third of a cup. Not too many comes with eighth of a cup. Uh, half a cup, sweet. Does that by chance also say milliliters or is it just in, in fractions of cups? Yeah, it says milliliters. Okay. Eight, one eighth of a cup, 30 milliliters. One quarter of a cup, 60 milliliters. One third of a cup, 80. Half is 120. We have two thirds of a cup for 160. This is sweet. Three quarters of a cup for 180. Wow. <laughs> the winner is one cup. One cup. How much? 240. And to me, the star of the show is this. And this is a teaspoon set that is sort of squarish rectangle. And what's great about this, because they're shaped like this, you can put these right into the spice jar, just like this, because they're long and narrow. And this, I'm gonna tell you, this set right here is worth the price of admission to me in this set. Um, this is really nice. So we have one tablespoon, one teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon, we have half a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon, and an eighth of a teaspoon. And look at how long these are. I mean, I love this set. This set is awesome. Are those also in milliliters? Or? Yep, even has milliliters on them. Ooh, those bad boys are sweet. Um, these are awesome. I love the shape of them. So these, this is the one cup. Look at how really, really nice these are. These are awesome. So thank you, Mudita, for sending these. I really appreciate it. If you want to take a look at these, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, these are fantastic. So a lot of people have been asking me about these things, and they wanted to know if we got them to do the video. We were going to a camping trip recently and we went through one of the big box stores. You guys know which one that is. And we suddenly saw these and I was like, I want to do a hand mixer challenge. So we bought these. One was on sale and um, we're going to do that. We're going to do like an inexpensive hand mixer battle and a more expensive hand mixer battle, sort of like we've done in the past with the food processors, right? Boo boo, this is like sub $10 and sub $20. <laughs> it's not inexpensive, it's dirt cheap battle. <laughs> well, no, I think this one here is a mainstays hand mixer. We paid a whopping $8.33 for this bad boy. Um, you, got, you guys have any confidence in this? What about you, Eric? 
Or do you want to splurge and spend an extra ten dollars for? I think this was like twenty or something. What I found interesting: this is a Black and Decker Helix, and it actually has some kind of um, Helix beaters. Almost looks like they have um, some kind of nonstick coating on it. I'm not exactly sure. This is not. Um, yeah, it just says. Oh, nylon coated beaters. That's what they look like. Well, you know, making some Duncan Hines batter is so <laughs> strenuous. I mean, they give you dough hooks, a wire whisk, and your beater. So let me know what you want to see on this. Do you want to see me try to do bread with one of these things? Um, this comes with... Ideal for mixing, beating, and blending, and whipping. This does not come with a dough hook. This $8 one doesn't come with a dough hook. This Helix one, you get two Helix beaters, two dough hooks, and a wire whisk, and a snap-on case. So I think this was in the $20 area, and this one was $8.88. So I guess this one has already lost out on the running because there's no dough hooks do you really think it's gonna make bread boo -boo? i don't know i just want to try to make bread with it because uh. but it doesn't say it just says ideal for mixing beating blending and whipping so they're not even claiming for bread well, it's not gonna make yeast bread maybe it'll make poppin fresh or something poppin fresh I don't know. this one calls them dough hooks Dough hooks. Does that mean it'll make dough? Like bread dough? Have we ever seen these things make real dough, boo? I don't know, but what do you think we can mix with this? After I'm done doing my test, maybe we'll have Eric do some mixing. I don't know. Mashed potatoes, maybe? They can make that, can it? Maybe a little uh, bucket of concrete? A bucket of concrete? I <laughs> think that would be kind of funny, right? So stay tuned for that. We have this coming up. People have been asking for this and we just haven't got to it yet, but they still are on the horizon, right? Okay, a few questions. So let's see what we have here. Um, have I made bread in the Zojirushi Home Bakery Virtuoso? And am I gonna do a video on that? Definitely a video is coming up on that. I've actually only used it once and I did a video, I did a, a, a bread out of the manual and I, did, I wasn't really happy with it. It wasn't have anything to do with the bread machine. Just the recipe wasn't that great. So I still want to test it a little bit and get used to it before I do a video, but a video on that is coming. So on the panko crusted chicken tender video that we did in the air fryer, someone asked, what is panko? Um, and panko is basically breadcrumbs, but they're Japanese style. So they're a lot coarser than regular breadcrumbs that you see like American style. That's the only difference between them is they're coarser than they are, um, than our traditional breadcrumbs as we know in the U.S. Someone asked, can I move in with you? <laughs> um, thanks for all the nice comments on the egg video. That video was so much fun. And those eggs, those perfect fluffy scrambled eggs are absolutely fantastic. Um, I'll put a link down in the description to those if you haven't seen the video, but you, it will change the way you feel about scrambled eggs. So if you haven't seen the bread machine dinner roll recipe, I'll also put a link down into the description to that. So many people tell me that those bread machine dinner rolls are their family favorite for the holidays, particularly Thanksgiving. If you have a bread machine, try that recipe out. You will love it. So guys, it's Wednesday. Let's wake me up and wake Eric up too, because he's a little sleepyhead. Wednesday.
Wednesday, guys. I hope you had a great one. I hope you enjoyed this video. One thing I can say is um, I appreciate all the comments, all the people watching. We hit 15 million views this week. Million. 15 million views. It's unbelievable. I never ever would have thought when we started doing videos that that many people would watch. I really appreciate it. We are coming into 100,000 subscribers. I, you know, I don't know if we'll get there by the end of the year, but we are creeping up to 100,000 subscribers. I actually have a pretty cool giveaway planned for our 100,000 subscriber mark. So stay tuned for that. So I hope you're having a great Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week. Go ahead and leave in the comments what you're cooking. And if you want to chat, chat about cooking, come on over to my Facebook group on facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Learns to Cook. We have a great time. The group is growing and we talk about gadgets and recipes and people post pictures of their food. It's absolutely fantastic. In addition to Facebook, you can find me on Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook. And I'm also on Instagram at Cooking with Amy.